If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what would it be? I would just like to change the way uh, we interact with the Western world. We, 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 I think we follow the West too much, so we, we are following. Uh, we should be leading. Our mindset, and I don't know how we are going to, we need to start from the masses, the, the, the children. I think immediately you find out you are pregnant, teach your fetus how to be honest. I think that way we will move forward. If not, we'll be slaves to ourselves because if you don't let me go, I won't allow you go. If, if, if I don't get rich, you won't okay. get rich. And you know the, the, the most annoying thing about it? Mm. We are all Christians and Muslims. <laughs> I love that. We go to church every Sunday. Every Sunday. But yet, we are the most corrupt. Corrupt. Would you also agree with me that Africa is the most religious continent in the entire world, but yet the people living in this continent are the most corrupt. Let me know if you agree with me. I mean, this whole video, we need to be interactive in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you are watching this video, please just don't watch me. Say something in the comment section. I'll be here to read over 20,000 comments just to know what so many Africans are thinking. Can I ask you a question? If you had a chance, to change something in Africa, what will that be? I feel like Africa needs all of us. We all need to share ideas. We all need to come together to change the way the world sees the continent because it's getting out of hands. Let me tell you something. An African is not respected anywhere in this world. You know why? Because Africa is not strong. And I believe that if we all can share our ideas to build our nations, to make Africa look better than how it is right now, listen, there will no longer be Black Lives Matter. There will no longer be black descent living in Europe crying over racism. But we're doing something different today. You know why? Because I hosted a woman from Senegal in Ghana, she's a serial entrepreneur, and I just asked her a question, why is Africa so poor? But she thinks otherwise. Here now. My That's question is, yeah. corruption is killing the continent. But corruption, but, but what enables corruption? See, I always want us to go back to root cause. Exactly, and, and that would have been my next question. I don't want to say that corruption is killing Africa. I, I want to say lack of economic freedom, bad regulations, over regulations are killing Africa. Then my next question would be like, what breeds corruption then? Bad laws. That's what I'm talking and about. Who create the bad laws? The same people. Exactly. So, so. Yes, no, no. I, I see where you're trying to go, exactly. but we agree. That's what it is. But now I guess the question then would be for you and anybody who might be listening to us, because I get this question all the time. Mm. My God, why, is, why are they not taking care of these laws? Maybe that's what you want to ask as well. Exactly. Okay. This is where, this is why I do what I do. Because you line up a hundred African people on this strip here. You ask them, why are we poor? You're going to hear 100 reasons that might differ from one another. But most importantly, none of them is going to sit there and tell you lack of economic freedom. Listen, I love challenges and I had to accept this challenge right away and hit the street. <music> like a million dollar question. Well, Africa is a continent that has all the natural resources. But why are we poor? Um, to a large extent, what I know is sometimes how to explore some of our natural resources. We don't have, number one, the technical know-how. Number two, corruption. Number three, some people are greedy. I'm not going to mention any names, okay. yes. And then again, so an example is our oil, for instance, Ghana here. I learned Ghana, I guess, is it 10% or something? Yes. But then what you know is exploration is expensive. Getting the money to do the exploration alone is very expensive. And 
Ghana, what you even eat is a problem. So do you even have money to do research and explore? No, you don't. But then someone will come with the machines and the money to do the exploration. If they get the oil and they get the gold, bravo. They are going to break even at a point, make profit, then leave. But then, if they don't get the oil or they don't get the gold, who runs at a loss? No, they do. They, do. Oh, they yeah. run at a loss, yes, yeah. not us. Yeah. So, have you seen some of the and situations? When they, when they get the gold and the oil. Uh huh. So, so, I learned some of our laws are that, okay, when they make the money, the money should stay in the country. So, let's say you come, you drill our oil, you get our gold, you get our bauxite, you get our diamond. The money should stay in the country. Invest the money back in the country so that the country can develop. But then, what do they do? They just stop. They take the money out, so Africa will continue to be poorer and poorer and poorer. Maybe there are no checks in place to actually guard these people. Okay, when you come, our oil is here. Use your money, do the exploration, find it in abundance. But then whatever money you make, reinvest it into the economy. Then Africa can grow. But then sometimes we don't even know how some of these uh, um, deals, these agreements are even made, so you know. Yes, so Africa will continue to be poor unless, of course, we look at some of how you do these deals and uh, with all these foreigners. Do you think African government borrowing money should be put under public scrutiny? I mean, should the terms and conditions of this loan made to the public? You don't think there should be an accountability on how all these borrowers' money being spent? I feel like it's our right to know. You don't think so? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I think, I think the Western world knows that there's, there's something here that they have tapped into and the Africans don't really know or they know or they just put a blind eye on the Africans that know that there's something here. So it's, you just put them at the bottom and they take whatever they need and just keep them at their feet. That's what it is. That's, that's where I see it. How, how do we get out? Um, I think we stand up. We stand up, we learn, we know what's going on and uh, we just fight. <laughs> no, we just fight. We gotta fight with guns? No, no, no. We fight with our minds, you know? We, 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 we just learn and just just try to outsmart. That's that's the only way. Because you probably think that we don't know nothing, but we do. Um, for, for two reasons. The, the external factors is that Africa has been raped and looted by, by Europe, uh, by America, by the Western world for centuries. So that, that looting over the past five, six hundred years mm. is contributing to where the continent is today. And although we have independence, um, they don't have financial independence. There, there's still neocolonialism that's plaguing the continent today. And then adjacent to that internal factors is that we need to decolonize the minds of the people in Africa whereby we become black and proud, we become pan-African, and we actually reduce corruption and do more for the people. Um, so it, it's both internal factors and then external factors. So it's been held down a lot. You mentioned financial freedom. Mm. That's the same as economic freedom. Yeah, so, so in essence, like if you look at what France is still doing in Francophone Africa, like that, they're using financial weapons to suppress hundreds of millions of people. And um, if you look at what's happening with Coco in Ghana, mm. where you only get six cents to the, to the, to the dollar. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of looting going on by multinationals and, and, and government um, at the moment. So it's still in real time. Uh, so what Kwame Krumah said is, is definitely still, still happening today, which is really sad. So, wow. yeah. W will you say colonization is the biggest problem of Africa? Like, will you say colonization kept Africa poor? Yeah, colonialism and neocolonialism has kept the continent poor, um, 100%. But there's still corruption as well. That's, that's plaguing the continent, so, yeah. Who are the people that are corrupt? Brother from Kenya. Yes. I just want to know, yeah, why is Africa so poor? 
Um, uh, I think the poverty in Africa is based out of uh, Africa's history. Unfortunately, our history, we started off on a bad footing. Hmm. So that means everything from there has been messed up. So that's, that's, that's why we're here. It, uh, it doesn't matter which leaders we vote in or whatever we try or how much aid we get. The fact is the foundation is still uh, based on, uh, you know, our history, which unfortunately... Uh, what, what kind of history? It's difficult to, to connect African cultures and the, the capitalistic world, unfortunately. So that's how I look at it. What, what do you think is the way forward to liberate Africa from poverty? Uh, we start again from the ground up. We have to build entire new systems uh, where we are able now to build an Africa that can be able to survive in this capitalistic world. The day I was filming this video, I also went on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, the Twitter handle is Wada underscore Maya. Go check it out. I asked exactly the same question on why is Africa so poor? And we got over 500 retweet, but we got over 917 reasons why Africa is poor. <laughs> it's a selfish interest. If there is indeed heaven, I don't think any African individual might be there because they still to make a living. So majority of the people were blaming leadership and um, there is this video that a lot of people shared and I think I need to share with you. What I'm going to try and do is uh, just give you some <laughs> charts and a couple of tables just to paint a little bit of a picture that you already know. Okay, so what this presentation is fundamentally designed to say is this. Africa historically, Sub-Saharan Africa, has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries, okay? And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that, okay? We do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that, okay? And this means all the economic structures, all the global institutions, and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so that's the message. It doesn't mean to say that there's nothing Africans can do. Of course there is. Okay, but this is the opposition that they're fighting. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you, living standards of all those in Europe and North America and Asia is going to fall. I believe that 90% of the comments that I read on Twitter, most people were blaming African leaders. And these young Nigerians are also blaming old African leaders. Um, I think um, those of them that are already there, yeah. like our leaders and the elites and all of those people, they do not want to include every other person that is trying to reach out. Yes, I think that's it. Simply put, greed. Greed? Yes, mm -hmm. greed. Um, when it comes to leadership, now they are already rich. And when it, when it comes to helping the young ones or the youths um, get access to wealth, they just crumble everything. So it's mm -hmm. more like um, they do not want the young ones 
to get to where they are. Mm. And as such, the young ones are the ones with the talent, they're the ones with the will yeah. to actually walk or do um, so many other things. They're the ones with the tech power. But this older ones, I'll call them the and older innovative generation. Ideas. Yes. 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 And innovative ideas. Yes. They keep things. blocking. Do they just keep blocking them? Everywhere. They keep blocking them. Yes. Block them because um, they feel that once these young ones come into power or get the wealth or have access to what they to have the innovations they are seeking for they just take them out which is <laughs> uh, I think for me um, we have everything we need resources um, talent Af Africans are like really talented but yeah it still goes down to the system because um, there are some situations where I feel like you know, the leader should fight for us to have like more access to some things. You hear some things and they'll be like, oh, it's not available in your region. Why is it not available in our region? What's wrong with our region? We can't really do anything about that. It's those people that are in power that can do something about that. But they won't do it because I feel like maybe they are not using it or maybe they don't find it important or something. I don't know, maybe people are not giving them information or maybe I don't understand. But yeah, it's still, because we have like a lot of really talented people here mm. and things that are blocking us are not supposed to be blocking us. And yeah. If you all had the chance to change one thing in Africa, what will it be? Yeah, government, leadership system. Yeah. More educated we, we, leaders, um, more... Okay, about education, yeah. I think most of more them exposure. actually yeah. have the certificate and other mm -hmm, not that kind of education. They are not innovative. Are you like, sure it's their own the, self? The, the only people that have these <laughs> ideas, or rather, most of the people that have these ideas are young people, and then we are not giving uh, an opportunity. Innovation. Ideas that, innovative ideas innovative that would ideas. help like a country or a society mm -hmm. in general grow we shouldn't and be all better. Be, we shouldn't all be craving to um, have just the crude oil as a source There's of so revenue much. for a country. That's they should listen, they should be open-minded. Like, we know that they cannot know it all. They should listen to us. They should not wage war against us. We just want Africa to be better. We're not trying to be like, oh, you guys versus us. We just want a better Africa, basically. So they should just listen to us. They should be open. Yeah. All right, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. Thank really, I appreciate you. your time, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Nigeria's in the building. Yes! <laughs> Africa is so poor because of the wrong leadership choices that we make. We elect leaders who go there to take care of themselves instead of taking care of the people. Wow. And what do you think is the way forward? The way forward is, I mean, uh, is to, uh, I mean, it will take a lot of time. I mean, years and years before people get empowered to make the right choices politically. But I mean, it's about educating people civically. Uh, I mean, just uh, making sure they know their rights. Uh, I mean, and part of it, it's um, it's a mind, it's a mindset. Mindset. Yeah. I mean, it's that, uh, which which that will take time. Wow. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what would it be? Interesting. If I had one thing to change something in Africa, there's nothing I could change. Man, I love Africa. <laughs> question is very dicey. I, I don't want to offend anybody, but it looks like Africans, we all try to think about ourselves. We don't think about anybody by ourselves. It's either I enrich, I enrich myself or nobody. We don't think about the future generation. Look at what Johnsons and Johnsons did for their family members. The unborn generation is already rich. Why? Because they think about the future. But well. yes. But Africans, we get the money today, we spend it, we look for other ways to get the other money. Wow. The rich keeps getting rich and the poor keeps getting poorer. Why is the rich keep getting rich and the poor getting poorer? Because they have the connection one. They know how to get away with things. Because if someone offends, sorry, I, 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 
I, I don't even know how to say this, but you know, when you go, go to our, our law systems, uh, our courts and everything, you get, get to see little, some, someone goes to steal as little as a fowl and is jailed. A politician steals billions of cities and that person is working freely. Our Africans, are, is our blood different from the whites? No. Is our mind different from the whites? So how come Africans, we are not developing, especially Ghana, because that's where I'm from. Why? Why? If, we are all asking why. Is hey. it always going to be like but, this? But, but, but listen, what is the way forward? The way forward is, we need to put structures and you know our schooling is so bad that we, we 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 learn we write our exams and that's all we don't do practicals it's when you want to even get a job it's who you know so this thing if we don't put it's a paradigm shift and if we don't put generational thinking into into a long term would it, 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 it's appalling it's appalling and i don't know how we are going to go about this if this is how our future is going to it, it, it's just going to be this is how it's going to be forever forever wow would we need you have you have you have you have the masses talk to them no you you also have the masses no. talk to them the, the masses would, are watching us would you Talk to a lot of influential people, especially my husband was saying he, he loved your interview with uh, the CEO of Casa Preco. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, this man is passionate. But he's not getting the support. Support? Why? It's because one person is there and that person won't allow the other person to go. Look at the disgrace we went to disgrace ourselves at the just ended World Cup. You know what? The GFA is just thinking about themselves, how to enrich themselves. My player, if you don't let my player go, your player is not going. If the person does not qualify, the person is going. Is this how we want it? No. We, we sell this handkerchief, it's 10 cities. I come to you, oh, wood, I know it's you, you can afford it. It's 50 cities. Who are we cheating? Who are we deceiving? We are deceiving ourselves. And you know the, the, the most the most annoying thing about it mm. we are all christians and muslims <laughs> i love that we go to church every, every sunday, sunday but yet we are the most corrupt corrupt if you had a chance to change one thing in africa what will it be our mindset our mindset and i don't know how we are going to we need to start from the masses, the, the, the children. I think immediately you find out you are pregnant, teach your fetus how to be honest. I think that way we will move forward. If not, we'll all be slaves to ourselves because if you don't let me go, I won't allow you go. If, if, if I don't get rich, you won't okay. get rich. If I am rich, be in your lane and I will also get my richer and richer as I want it. Would it's appalling. My question is, will young Africans be different if given the chance? Because I have come in contact with young Africans in power that are using their power to loot the continent. I don't want to mention names, but I believe that whether old or young, it takes the brain to rule the continent of Africa. I think we, it's time for us to come together, both the young and the old, share ideas in terms of how to liberate this continent. I don't think a young man will do something different from what the old man is doing because listen, it's a system and that system will affect both young and old. Thank you so much for watching. I'll bring you a full episode with my conversation with Margaret Wade, who believes that Africa is not poor, 
because of colonization. I'll see you all in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out.